Known to explorers of an earlier age as the Dark Continent, modern Africa reveals itself to adventure travelers as a land of light and life. Mornings on the savanna dawn to the sounds of footsteps in the brush, chatterings in the acacia trees, and wing beats in the air. In this place where man was born, animals now rule. And no other environment on earth is more compelling to tourists and adventurers than the Rift Valley of Kenya. A country in the crosshairs, Kenya is bisected by the equator running east to west and the ancient geological scar of the Rift Valley running north to south. With a climate that varies only a few degrees from season to season and soil created by prehistoric volcanic eruptions, Kenya is blessed with a profusion of wildlife. Kenyan wildlife today survives under the threat of poaching and the unnatural press of tourism. With wildlife being the primary income resource in the nation of Kenya, the future for these magnificent animals is brightening. For travelers from the world of skiing, we can only marvel at what we see and count our lucky stars for the opportunity to be here. Rising from this unmistakable landscape, just nine miles north of the equator, is Mount Kenya. Standing over 17,000 feet, this now extinct volcano was once Himalayan in size, at one time having an icy summit that reached 21,000 feet. A few million years after its massive eruption, it was the Kikuyu people that made their home in the ecosystem the volcanic uplift created. The area surrounding Mount Kenya is known today as the Central Highlands. The Kikuyu lived off the land, hunting and cultivating the fertile slopes rich with volcanic soil. Though the mountains stood high above them, it's unlikely they traveled above the moorlands in respect for their god Ngai, who they believed lived at the top of the mountain they called Kiranyaga, or the White Mountain. 